I believe is vital. Um, the building is worth saving. The owner of this historic Dubuque Brewing and Malting building talked to our I-9 investigative team today about his plans to try and salvage the structure. The city of Dubuque determined the building is so unsafe, it warned nearby homes and businesses that they're in the fall zone. Cedar Rapids developer Steve Emerson says he bought the building sight unseen. And KCRG TV9's Brian Tabak sat down with him this afternoon. And Brian now joins us live in the studio. Jim Beth, even before Steve Emerson bought the building, Dubuque had deemed the building a public safety concern. He's behind many projects in Cedar Rapids, and this was his first effort in Dubuque. And he admits not having strong connections with those leaders might be contributing to this situation. Steve Emerson, a Cedar Rapids developer and architect, says his team has been out assessing the Dubuque Brewing and Malting Building the last few days. The city of Dubuque has already closed the street near the building out of concern it will fall and hurt passerbys. A frustrating development for a project they started in 2017. I uh, literally bought the building only to save it. Um, hadn't even visited it yet. Called the guy, said I want to buy the building. He's already put money into the structure, which stands more than 100 feet tall and is more than 120 years old. I bought the building and then immediately had to put a million dollars into um, demolishing the unstable section in the middle. Emerson intends to use state and federal tax credits to keep this piece of history in Dubuque, but he feels the city isn't supporting that effort as much as it could. We've realized now that it's not, not a project that I'm capable of doing on my own, and it, it takes a smart guy to figure out he's too dumb to do something, and that's just where we are. I need help, and uh, I uh, am trying to get help from the city. Emerson says they'll demolish the portions of the building that are a concern to the city while preserving the front as much as possible. That front section that's up on Jackson is the part that I don't think could be replicated. Um, the ornateness and the, the rounded curved brick and, and all the detail that put into there. But even with the federal and state tax credits he's hoping to get, there's still a 10 to $12 million gap. Emerson admits this project isn't about making money. He's not looking to recoup his losses. He wants to preserve this piece of Dubuque, but isn't sure he can do that without the city and community's full support. At this point, it's been me, and there hasn't been a lot of assistance from anybody in Dubuque. Uh, it would be great to have the city on board and just behind me. Emerson wants to turn the building into a mix of commercial and um, uh, commercial buildings on the bottom and apartments on top. He says to do that will take two years of construction to complete that job if and when they get those needed tax credits. In the studio, Brian Tabak, KCRG TV9 News.